All right, everybody, welcome back. So we're back with our um, to enter way to how to play Diablo 4. So we just came into Kiovashad. So we go right here and we pick up a Holy Cedar. Let's do, we'll just pick that one. And then we go right there and we put it right there. So it's done. We go back here. And we skip that. Okay, so basically our um our thing our video today is going to be about the merchants that we have here. See, we're still working up here to get up here. And on your map, these are waypoints. They let you teleport back and forth from one place to another. So we're gonna go up here. We're in Kiavashad, but we're not like in the main we're on like the outskirts of Kiavashad. We're not in the main city of Kiavashad. See it tells us unlocking waypoints. So let's go up here. And let's unlock this waypoint. We hit A on it now. If we pull this up, it shows us where we're at. And all of these right here are other waypoints that you can go to. Um and it tells you what services are at each place. Like you have a storage, a healing merchant, and a blacksmith at this one. This one you have storage, um, healing merchant, potion merchant, stable merchant, and blacksmith. So let's look. So we have a storage over here. So if we go in here and we have our storage chest right here. And your stash is shared amongst all your characters. So do keep that in mind. You have merchants here. That you can sell stuff to and buy stuff from. Um, like we could buy this staff right here if we wanted to. Um, you have an armor merchant here where you can buy merchants from. Or armor from, excuse me. Then you have a blacksmith which is right here. We'll go over that in a minute. Let me look at some of this gear and see if we got something better here to put on. Um, real quick and then we'll go over that. So let's put them up. Put that up. All right, we have a crown. All right. So you can sell to these merchants right here. Okay, you can sell your items to these merchants by R being over. And you can sell, you can click an item and sell it to get gold um, if you want to. But the best thing to do that I found, especially starting out, is coming down here to the um, blacksmith. And then you can go to, you're on the salvage tab, and you can go all items. What this does now, this gives you items to upgrade your, your gear with. Um, and you can repair stuff if you need to. We don't need anything to be repaired, but see. So let's see if we're going to upgrade an item right here. So if we go over, and let's grab this item. That tells us that's what's going to be. Now we can upgrade that. And as you see, it went from one star to two star. Or the next upgrade's two star, so let's let's do that now. <coughs> if we go back in here, it's our upgrade's two of two. It's um plus two point four percent cold damage um on that now, and it's been upgraded. And we can upgrade as many items as we want. That was my first mistake when I played Diablo 4 was selling my stuff up here to, for gold, which you can do. I mean that's not an issue. But the best thing to do is to get your armor upgraded. Okay, so down here, you see the little heart on the little mini map right there? It's a healing well. So you can come down here. Found the new boil, and you can go right that, here. That and heal. So, so we're, that, we're going to do that. Okay, now the next thing down here is a potion merchant. Ver, Verosca, Verosca, Roca. So we're going to go down here to Verroca. This is what this is about, is introducing you to these merchants. Okay, so this is alchemist. Okay, so now, a tiny health potion. Okay, we have to be level 10 for that. We're not quite there yet, but you see as it checks... Oops, go back to that. Okay. We have enough of the material. The Galawine down there, we need two. We have 29. So we could, if we were level 10, we could make a tiny healing potion, which is going to give us better healing than what we got. It says heals 48 life instantly and 35% of your maximum health over three seconds. All right. And then if we go 
over this is elixirs that you can get and you can see elixir of the beast slaying magic elixir okay and it says increases damage against spiders wildlife maggot snakes and werewolves by 20 percent and experience gained by five percent for three for 30 minutes so but it's all locked now we can't buy any of that till we get to what level 36 so all of these you can get when you get there we could buy this one which is an iron barb elixir and it says increases armor by 50 percent thorns by 25 percent and experience by five percent for 30 minutes so let's grab one of them so we'll get more experience when we use that okay now this is crafting material so if you go back over here and you're going to make this potion but you don't have enough of the galawine you can go here and go down and buy the galawine here for 200 per one galawine so if you need it it's here um if you can't find it out in the wilderness okay so now where's our next merchant let's see here yeah, he's at the stable. So we're going to the stable next. Let's go ahead and go to the stable. I already have my mount unlocked, but um, you get your mount here. What did you write on that piece of wood? Um, Something about fear. But anyway, let's see. I'm off to the dry steps in search of that. Okay, let's let's go ahead and knock this out. Someone sacrificing. Whoops, the wrong thing. The cathedral loves to go on. There was a prophecy, yes. Okay, so anyways, we got that done. Okay, so what's the next thing on our map? So we have a stash up here. So let's go up here. And we're going to run up here. Where's the stash at? It says it's in here. And you can interact with all these merchants here. Okay, so we're going to go in here. This is a cultist recipes, which you have to be a certain level to unlock this merchant, right? When you get to level 20, you'll unlock this merchant here. But there's your stash right here also that you can put stuff in. Um, we'll take that ring, actually. Take that. We'll put that ring up. Okay, so you'll be able to unlock these at, like, level 20 and be able to talk to them. And then he has recipes and stuff for you to take. Um that you can do okay so let's go up here in this one here so this one here is the jewel merchant and this one here's the rings and stuff so he sells rings if you need to purchase rings this one is the jewel merchant you will unlock that at level 20 also so that's not unlocked for us yet okay so let's continue over here Let's go up in here. And this one here. Now, what this focus is, is like um, you can take and spend. Um, see, I have 500 of the things we need here. And I can go like if I want to make this staff. Now, you're taking a chance here when you do this. You can get a really good item or a really, really bad item. But let's go ahead and do one real quick. And let's see what we got here. So let's look at our inventory. So we're at plus 33, um, which gives us a lot more damage. So, see, so you can come here, and like I said, sometimes you can get a lot better stuff um, hmm, not much, is it? from doing this. But you see, like, she goes, home, not much. In other words, it it wasn't really good, but it was better than what we had on. Is it common for devout folk to drink so, so enthusiastically? And then you have another stash up here. And then you have a wardrobe right here. And on this wardrobe, you can put in different slots of stuff that you want to like, what you want to look like, or what you want. Um, see, like, we can apply that. Um, and we can... Um, so let's apply this. All right, we can change our look here for our helmet. We can do this. So we'll apply that. So we look like that right now. Um, and then you unlock the other one. See, it says salvage items or visit the shop to discover new items for that. 
Um, and then if we RT over, it tells us that we can modify our slot. We can make our, like, I like the way that looks. So that's done. And then we can, um, we don't have any of them yet. That's for a season thing. But we can look over and we can change the way that our character looks here. It's just one of them things that, um, you can do if you so choose to do um it's not something that you have to do but if you so choose to do it you can do it um no go back and see we make the way we look look a lot different here um so now our character looks like this right here with the mask and everything on. Um, so keep that in mind. I mean, that's one thing that you could do and it puts it to all your slots. So your character saved. So now our character looks like this now. So it's another good feature that you can do if you um, set, and you can also set on some of the furniture. You hit A to get off of it, okay. So now let's see what else we have here. Let's see. World tier statue, okay, let's go up here and talk about that. So this is something that you don't need to mess with till you've already been around Diablo for, and you've played it. But if you click on this world tier statue, here's where you can change your difficulty out. To however, whatever difficulty you feel good playing. So we're going to leave it at that. Um, and that is pretty much all of the merchants that are in town here. There is a, okay, so when you come over here, you're going to get a quest to come over here and applaud these people, okay? So what you have to do, whoops, no, off that what you have to do is go up here okay so let's go right here so we go so you press up on the pad itself not the sticks but up on the pad and then you'll hit the right button to move over and you will applaud them see right there it says thanks and cheer you'll have to cheer them so you do that I'm impressed. And see, it, it, it cheers them right there. So keep that in mind. So when you come up and try to figure this out, you're like, how do I do this? That's how you do it. It's just part of the game. Then you have these merchants here that you can talk to for side quests. The new militia recruits have been training night and day. So see right here, speak with the merchant, okay? Then it marks, it marks our spot down here that we have to go to. So you can get side quests in towns too. To do to help you level up. Where in the world is this merchant at? Okay, I gotta find this merchant. It's probably down here. But you have these side quests that you can do also along with your other quest. So let's speak with this merchant. Ah, so the old man. Purchase Lord's polearm. Wait. The old man sold me this, too, and said he didn't need it anymore, but I think he'd want it back all the same. No charge. Okay, so we have that. We have a strange amulet, so let's go down here. But see, that's how you, that's how you do this stuff here. Um, do we go back and talk to this man here? Ah, apologies. And, of course, he rips us off, and he don't give Sounds us some money for paying for his stuff, but, you know. All right, so now. Complete. Okay, quest complete. Missing pieces. All right, so we completed that quest. All right, so we've pretty much been over everything that is in the villages. And, like I said, when you go up here and you unlock another waypoint, you'll go to another village right here. But if you want to know what's in an upcoming village, just go here. Like, if you're going to go this way, see, it tells you all the services that are there. It's basically the same thing that's here. 
like in Kevishad. See, but it tells us that we can't unlock the diamond merchant or this other or this other merchant thing because we're not high enough level. But it will go around and it will tell you what all services is at that village. That right there is a, a dungeon. But anyways, and you can look and see and say, okay, I'm going this way. So I need to stop by this village right here. Um, or I'm going this way and I need to stop by this village and I know what's got. So if you need something in the process, you can find it. Um, these right here are strongholds with bosses in them. So you stay away from them until you get long, high enough to do it. See, it's a level 15 boss. We're nowhere near a level 15. Um, okay, why to claim rewards? What do we got to claim? All right, so make sure you do all of that, too. Um, all right, so we got that. All right. Um, let's see here. So anyways, I just wanted to go over some of the things that were in towns here so that y'all could see how to interact with them and exactly what they do and how to do some things. Um, there's a notice board right there. If there's going to be anything going on, it's going to be posted in here, but it's not there. Now, there's nothing going on, so it's not there again you can sit down um you can talk to the innkeeper religious until i saw a miracle inarius himself blessed the man with the light you Go. can't take a few steps without hearing about it day and night they stream into town all right, folk, so and they always pay but their anyways tasks. um so that's like that's basically our town here. views that we're doing um and when i get back to something else i will show you all that too but i just want to show you how it works in the villages and the towns um so that you know how to operate that aspect of it. So again, thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, and I'll catch you on the next one.